All that has changed thanks to string theory. This is Fermilab, and right now, it's our best hope for proving that extra dimensions are real. Fermilab has a giant atom smasher. Here's how it works. Scientists zap hydrogen atoms with huge amounts of electricity. Later, they strip them of their electrons and send the protons zooming around a four-mile circular tunnel beneath the prairie. Just as they're approaching the speed of light, they're steered into collisions with particles whizzing in the opposite direction. Most collisions are just glancing blows but occasionally, there's a direct hit. The result is a shower of unusual subatomic particles. The hope is that among these particles will be a tiny unit of gravity, the graviton. Gravitons, according to string theory, are closed loops, so they can float off into the extra dimensions. The grand prize would be a snapshot of a graviton at the moment of escape. And then the graviton goes to the extra dimension and then it shows in the detector by its absence. You see it by its absence. Unfortunately, Fermilab hasn't yet seen the vanishing graviton. And the pressure is on because another team is hot on the same trail. Four thousand miles away, on the border of France and Switzerland, a lab called CERN is constructing an enormous new atom smasher. When it's finished, it will be seven times more powerful than Fermilabs. There's a great sense of urgency that every minute has to count, but eventually CERN, our rival laboratory,